Hey everyone! Lately I've been seeing these cat eye jewel type nails and I wanted to try them myself. The trick to doing these is magnetic nail polish. Magnetic polish is basically just polish with like magnetic particles like suspended in the polish and then you use a magnet to kind of manipulate them before it dries or before you cure it. And actually, I believe every time that I've ever seen these done, it's been with gel polish. I know that they make magnetic normal polish, basically like air dry, what everybody is used to using at home. So I thought it would be kind of fun to try doing this technique with that stuff as well. Gel polish isn't something that is doable for everyone at home, so it would be pretty awesome if this look is possible with traditional nail polish. So let's get started! First I'm starting with the gel polish so you guys get a feel for how it's supposed to look. Keep in mind this is only like the second time I've done this, so I'm still trying to get the technique just right, so I'm probably not like the best at it. Anyway, I've already prepped my nails by pushing the cuticle back, cutting and filing the nails to shape them, etc. And for gel polish, I started with a gel base coat. I cured it, I use an LED light. I applied a solid creme for a base color. I chose this pastel grayish blue green color. And I did two layers, curing after each layer. And now it's time for the magic. Here's the magnetic polish and the magnet wand. I'll leave an affiliate link to the stuff down below. The stuff that I have is a silver color, but I think that you can get this stuff in a bunch of different shades if you want. Here you can see how the magnet affects the magnetic particles in the polish. Pretty cool. On one finger, I did the first coat. The magnetic particles can settle and kind of mess up the effect if you don't cure it quickly, so it's best to work on each finger one by one. It makes it a lot longer of a process, but you get the best results, I think. So anyway, using the broad side of the magnet, I brought it close to each side of the nail, and then I worked it around the tip and then the base of the nail. You're sort of trying to like gather the magnetic particles towards the middle, of the nail, if that makes sense. You should be able to see the effect starting to emerge as you do this. Then I cured it. I did a second layer the same way. For the rest of the nails, I stopped at two layers, but on this finger I did three because I wanted to see if that helped with the effect more. I feel like it wasn't that much of a difference to warrant three layers for the rest of the nails, so this is the only one I did three. Anyway, I repeated these steps for every nail.
finish them off, I used a no wipe gel top coat. So my favorite nails ended up being my pointer finger and my thumbnail. I think these showed the effect really well. Again, I did three layers for the pointer, so there's that. Even though it's one of my favorites, I still don't think it looks like better enough that I would do three layers for each other nail. It just takes forever if you do that. And here's how the gel ones turned out. I just love this effect. It's so cool. Alright, next up, the normal nail polish. I mean, it's still magnetic, but it's air dry, not gel, so you don't need any fancy equipment. So I have these two kinds. I have a dark blue and a dark purple. I figured I'd try both of them and see if one color or one of these brands works better than the other. First up, the blue. I basically just did the same exact steps as with the gel polish, paint a layer on, and then use the magnet around the edges of the nail to force the magnetic particles into the middle. And we're not off to a good start. You can see the particles moving around when I use the wand, but the effect is way more subtle. I mean, I'm not even sure if the camera's picking it up. I'm also worried that as this air dries, the particles are going to settle too much and you won't even be able to see the effect at all, but we'll see. I did two more nails with this blue color just to give it a good try. And then I moved on to the purple. Again, I did the same steps. And this is a bit more promising. Again, it's subtle, but I feel like it actually shows up on camera this time. And on to layer two. I wasn't happy with the blue. I liked the purple more, so I decided to abandon the blue and switch to purple. Again, I repeated the steps as before, and honestly, I think the thumb is the only one that even somewhat shows this effect. I feel like I don't really see it too much in the other nails. It kind of just looks like a normal metallic polish, so it's kind of disappointing. Um, I don't think that I would attempt this effect with air dry polishes again. But for the sake of this video, I'll finish up with my top coat. Who knows, maybe it'll help make the effect stand out more? made it worse. Even my prized thumbnail is messed up now. You can see right in the middle, I guess, I don't know, the top coat messed with the particles or something. So yeah, that sucks. But 
I guess we all learned a lesson today. If you want to get those crazy cat eye jewel nails, you're going to have to go with gel. I personally can't wait to do these nails with a darker base next time. So there you go, cat eye jewel nails done properly and improperly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!